heading into Denham and into Monkey Mile. We've just left Aikato, stopped in the state point over there. Uh, that was a big milestone for me. Um, one of those bucket list items to stop off at state point, the most westerly point of mainland Western Australia. Um, heading into Monkey Mile now. Gemma loves Monkey Mile. Uh, we were here last year as well and she wanted to come back. So who was I to deny her that? And we're gonna head in. Good and, husband. Yeah, you know, just trying. Um, yeah, we're gonna head into Monkey Mire and hopefully feed some dolphins again and have a decent shower and have some decent food and just relax by the pool or in the water, I think. Yeah, if it's your first time here, please like and subscribe. Um, check out the other videos. Check out the merch at outbackswagging.bigcartel.com But we'll show you what you come up with and uh, thanks for tuning in. See you at Monkey Mine. Alright guys, we just um, just fueled up. Got some more beers um, just in Denham here. Uh, there's just one thing I wanted to show you. This is what I just have started doing um, on this trip. I don't know if you can see that too well, but just got a whiteboard marker and I've just been writing down the Ks, the amount of fuel that I'm putting in and the cost of the fuel. Um, I remember the last big trip that I've done up here, I didn't really monitor this and then I got home and I didn't really know how much I'd spent on fuel. Um, I obviously knew how many Ks I'd done and I probably could have worked it out, but I thought this might be a nice little easy option just to monitor what we're doing also write stuff on there you know like reminders and that i reminded myself to get some bait um when we hit overlander um so and that was handy because i almost forgot it actually but i just wanted to show you that um like i said i just stopped in and got a few beers and um i seen that they got um cartons of fosters there because fosters is back out now and you all know that i drink bush chook so I thought I'd give one of those a try. Well, the lady there actually just said, you know, there's not much difference in them. So she gave me a, one can for free. Um, she said, give it a go and see how you go. She said, it's normally four bucks a carton cheaper or a block cheaper. So give it a go. So I'm going to have that very shortly when we get to Monkey Mine. I'm just going to sit down and chill for a minute. And I think I'm going to give that a crack and let you know what I think. Um, so tune in for that if you haven't tried it. But. Welcome back to Monkey Mire. Just what you always wanted? Yeah. It's hot. Oh, it's locked. Looks bloody inviting now, I tell you. Okay, guys, uh, these are the superior rooms. Uh, I think so. Superior, superior. Not that ugly mug. Uh, they're the most expensive ones. Uh, we did request room eight, which is what we stayed in before, which is right next to the dolphin experience. You can actually see the dolphin experience from the room. But someone already booked it, so we ended up with number six, which is fine because it looks like we're right here in front of the water anyway, which is great. Um, and I think we're just going to hit the water line and the have a beer. The weather's heaps better than it has been. Like no wind at all today. Yeah, there is no wind here. It's bloody hot. The mosquitoes have gone. The flies have gone. You don't know yet. Well, they have right this second. All right, like I said, I'm hot. I need a drink and hit the water. So, see you in a bit. All right, you good people. Here we go, Foster's. Um, never had it before. Apparently it's our uh, national beer. Like I said, I've never had it. They say it's meant to be just like Export, so here we go. Let's see what it's like. Cheers. Mm. 
not too bad. Not too bad. It's four percent, not four point two. Well, the bush shocks. But it is cheaper. I think I'm gonna stick some bush shocks. But it's not bad. Give it a go. You survive. It's not bad. You try them. Yeah. Tell the folks at home what you think. Oh, really? It tastes lighter than the um, It does taste lighter mm. actually. Yeah. It's alright. Drinkable. Oh my god, now, now it's drinkable. <laughs> <laughs> alright guys, so we're all all cleaned up, all settled in. We're heading over to the restaurant here for a bit of a cocktail and something to eat. Boat shed? The boat shed? Yeah. It's the main restaurant here. It's pretty good last time we were here. So hopefully it continues to impress. But we'll let you know how it goes. just about to head down now to the dolphin experience see if we can find feed a dolphin um, the trick is apparently to wear the brightest thing you own yeah wear but something bright wear something that's gonna make you stand out because um, there's a heap of people there that you got to compete with and I think they only feed they only pick like four people so I think they have three feeds 745 and then they have like one at 8.30 or something and then another one later on. Yeah. I think, and that's if the dolphins come in as well. And they get less and less people as it goes on, I think, so. Give it a go. We'll give it a go. You got the feed one last time, didn't you? Yeah. So we'll see if we can get you to do it again. people. <laughs> uh.
ladies and gentlemen. Last day of our trip. Stopped in Kelbarry overnight. We wanted to head down to Lucky Bay, but the wind was pretty bad, so decided to stop in Kelbarry for the night. Left this morning. Got to the 15k mile marker south of Kelbarry and boom, blew a radiator. So that's put us to a stop. Also, I was coming up the hill, so potentially I might have blown the head gasket. So we got on to the local mechanics, rah, 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 and they put me onto a bloke called Northampton Towing. He charged me 1300 bucks to tow back to Perth. So we we're just waiting for him to come and because we got a bit of shit news that hasn't really ended the trip well. Gemma's not too impressed. I'm fine. She said she's fine. So yeah, waiting for the tilt tray to come pick us up and then at least to save on fuel. Um, yeah. What a way to end a trip. Yep. Yeah.